say in the market that gold is on the rise? Well, I know that this gold is in high demand. 40 Smith & Wesson, 165 grain hollow point. Hard to find, guys. I did find it online. I believe I got this from Ammo to Go. They might still have some, so go check it out, guys. 165 grain, pretty sought after gold dot. We're gonna test it today out of the Glock 23 Gen 4. Shoot it through four layers of denim and the calibrated gel. Let's get this shot and check it out, guys. Okay, guys, here we go with that 165 grain spear gold dot. Let's check out if the price of gold is worth it right now. Well, that was loud and had some ass behind it. Let's go check this out, guys. Okay, guys, here's that track of that 165 grain gold dot. One in, it looks like about the inch mark started seeing rapid expansion pretty nice looking track down through there looks like it's going along going along still cutting right there you guys definitely can see the pedals are well open at this point tracking on down tracking on down not doing too shabby this wind tracks getting pretty long here we get to about 10 inches of course we'll see better in the side view and then it looks like it starts to streamline and then it looked like it took a little nose dive down and there it is, still in the gel, right there at 16 and 3 8 16 and 3 8 let's get that up out of there and take a quick look at it. Well, it looks like we got a little denim still in there, but it didn't affect it from opening up. That flowered back pretty nice. 16 and a couple eighths there. Not bad at all. That is a nice looking round. Loud round. Very nice looking round, guys. Spear Gold Dot, 40 Smith & Wesson, 165 grain. We got gold for sure here. That is a nice looking round. Let me get that side cut and we'll get weights and measurements and posts. Okay guys, here's that side view of that 165 grain spear gold dot. Pretty massive looking track right there, guys. You guys can see it went in. Look from the top that it took a little bit to open, but it didn't. We're looking at right out about a half an inch. And it looks like full expansion happened right away. You can see how explosive that track is right there. It's probably about two inches, two and a quarter across. And I love the way that thing's cutting in. That thing's cutting in really nice. Comes in at a really nice angle. And then it looks like it's starting to slow down a bit. You know, it's done expanding, it's cutting, it's cutting. And we get down to about that nine inch mark and then it streamlines out. And it goes down to its resting spot. That's a spear gold dot, 165 grain, ah, 40 Smith & Wesson, if I could talk here, guys. And by the way, part number is 23970. This is a box of 20. And like I said, I think I got this, at, well, I did get this at ammo to go. So if you guys are looking for this, check it out quickly because I'm sure these are going to go quick. That's a hell of a wound channel right there. Once again, Spear Gold Dot showing they're at the top of the chain there, right there. That's an awesome track, guys. Get weights and measurements and post. Okay, guys, we're at the post of that Spear Gold Dot. 165 grain. This is a bonded, jacketed hollow point. As you guys seen in the test today, kick some butt, did it, kick some butt. Liked it a lot, liked it a lot. Just so you guys know, shot it out of the Glock 23 Gen 4. I think we already covered all that. Comes in a 20 round box. This is a 20 round box. I think they do come in a 50 round box. I haven't seen them. I did get this at ammo2go.com, so go check it out, see if they have any left. Great round, guys. 165 grain, kind of mid-weight for the 40 Smith & Wesson. Got some good results today. Good results. We got... 16 and 3 8 inch penetration out of this little bad boy and it mushroomed back very symmetrical had just a little bit of denim in the tip but it didn't stop anything still went all the way back got our little gold dot shiny there for us very symmetrical you guys will see pictures of that here in a minute very good very good muzzle velocity I'll throw that up there so you guys can see straight away let's talk about that they advertise this at 1150 I got my five shot average was 1163 which calculates out the 496 foot-pounds of energy. That's smoking on a non-plus-P round. 40 Smith & Wesson, non-plus-P. This is just standard pressure, guys. Weight retention, spot on. Throw that up there, 164.4. Uh, max expansion was 721. I'll throw that up there. My average was 703. Once again, pretty symmetrical round here, guys. Pretty good. Pretty damn good round. You guys will see close-ups out here in a second. Once again, Spear Gold Dot, 40 Smith & Wesson, 165 grain little bad boy. Shot out of a Glock 23 Gen 4. You guys have a good one.